Hi everyone, welcome back to Engineer Tech Hub channel. So in this video, guys, we will discuss cognizant interview question and answer for automation test engineer. Three to five year of experience, part two. To part one, I have already uh, discussed and made the video. If you missed that, please watch the part one. So we have a interesting question in the part one also. So we will discuss part two. So let's move in the next question. So next question they have uh, asked, you know, how did you utilize the overloading and overriding in automation? So first of all, you have to know the concept of what is overloading, overriding concept. Okay. So this is your overloading and overriding concept. So suppose if you are not good in Java, so please refer my playlist. I have already discuss overloading and overriding concept in the depth okay so please refer that that's why i just shown you my playlist okay if you already know then you will you are able to implement so you know when we are creating some utility classes in your framework or in your uh, automation right so just i have given one of the example in the text right so overloading means we have a same method and we are passing the different parameters so you can see in the text we have a one uh, method so we are passing the web element then uh, we have another method we are passing the web element text and boolean and you can see next method i have created we are passing text and keys where we can perform some keyboard operation so this is the nice example for uh, overloading concept so let's move in the another uh, so overriding so you can see again you should know what is the overriding concept right so in the overriding you know method signature is same so <clears throat> some of the browser action we perform where we are performing the some click operation so sometime normal click is not working so we can take the help of java script executor so we can override here we can create an overriding concept you can see i have created a method click element and we are passing here method signature must be same but implementation is different here we are performing only click but here we are using java script executor to click so some of the scenario in the web page we have to use java script executor some if you are working in the different different browser right so here just i have given one example many example you will think you will get many example guys okay so another question is explain the automation testing framework this is the one of the you know frequent asked question why because this is your core job uh, this is your core job guys so i took the couple of the interview they have say they have mentioned i worked with uh, five year in automation i have a uh, more than you know two year or three year of experience when I ask, could you explain your framework? So they are not able to explain. So prepare well. Uh, if you are going as experience, if you don't have experience, learn the framework. You know, it's a very important because in the real time we are developing and we are writing the script using the framework, right? Even sometimes you have to develop the framework. So you have a very good knowledge in the framework as well. So just you can explain some component of the framework. So in this, like. We have a hybrid framework so combination of page object and data driven so first component we have some xml file so just i have given some uh, we have a multiple xml file so we have a, like regression shoot or we have a sanity shoot right so we have a xml uh, how you we are designing or what what the name you are going to uh, write this right that is the just you can say we have a xml file and we are running the multiple suite right execution part is very important test runner class so any framework so you have a test runner classes okay generic library again this thing uh, suppose we have a multiple utility in our framework suppose we have a one utility you are reading the data from the excel so i have created the one class i keeping all the method over there then we have a utility where we are going to uh, create a reusable method for selenium library right we have a utility we are going to uh, implement the method for taking the uh, screenshot and report so we have a utility right but how we are defining the utility and all 
right this totally depend upon how you are designing the framework but these components should be there okay page object model is also common part of any framework right so you should know how to implement the page object model test data so another challenging thing is to how to maintaining your data and your automation so it totally depend upon your requirement if you have a static data or if you have a dynamic data report so reporting features and a screenshot features and some resources folder where we can keep some suppose uh, you have uh, some files suppose i'm reading the data from the properties file right so those files we are going to keep over there right so some of the resources folders are there so if you will explain this all the component i think this is enough okay but not only but you have a proper practice as well okay so you can see here uh, this is the snapshot for the whatever i have discussed but the naming naming is different the name of the class is different but components are same okay so what is the difference between implicit weight and explicit weight if you are learning the selenium you already guys know but just i took the couple of the point so implicit weight will have a uh, your global weight and we can use the implicit weight for your short period of the time implicit weight you cannot wait for the specific uh, a specific uh, element but explicit where we can use for that specific element right in implicit where we don't have any spe expected condition but in the explicit where we have expected condition with ex expected condition you will get many methods as well like visibility or visibility of the element located by element to be clickable element to be selected so just i took some couple of the point but you have a hands-on practice how uh, implicit weight how to apply this concept with your script okay next move in your next question they have asked how did you push and pull the code in your remote so you should have uh, some basic knowledge of git okay so in this scenario for push condition just i'm going to initialize the git in our system so we have a couple of uh, command like git init git add then we can do git commit then we can use git remote add origin and we are passing the url okay understood right then if someone will ask how to push only then you can say git push hyphen you uh, origin master and just search on the google once go to the git doc, doc, uh, document and just see that all this command how or you can just do hands-on practice for pull also suppose i am cloning the repository right so git clone we have a git clone method you can have a, a git uh, repository url then you have to change the directory how to change the directory we can use uh, cd command git uh, change directly so these are the uh, unix command we have then we can use the git page so fetch the update from the remote repository then we have a pull so pull pull the update git pull origin main if someone will ask what is the pull command just git pull so these are the basics command guys so after you know pulling that sometime you will get the good git conflict also i will create a some separate video how to handle the git conflicts if you are watching my series i think i have already discussed in one of the video git conflict how to resolve that but we can create a some separate video okay so these are the these are the steps you have to do in the last day i have asked some question from the java programming how to find the duplicate character in a string in java so, so, so suppose they have given you one a string and they are asking to find the duplicate character with counts okay so you can see <coughs> t how many times came e so you have to filter the duplicates okay with number of uh, occurrence of your character okay so you have to do the two condition one is you have to uh, filter sorry you have to filter your duplicate and you have to count your number of character okay so that's it guys so they don't ask like much normal question we have all our repeated question so you can follow this uh, java programming so just i have uh, some common frequent asked question uh, which is asked already in the many companies so i created this is the first question java program to find a duplicate character so please refer that do hands-on practice you will get more clarity okay that, that's it in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe and press bell icon to get new video notification 
सुन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय